Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is my iPhone XS Max, and I wanted to show you ways on CarPlay on this aftermarket stereo. So let me plug it in here. You'll see it opens automatically on this stereo, and if we scroll to the second page, you'll see we have Waze. Now, Google added Google Maps the other day. I have a separate video on that. Let's go into Waze. Now, we have a few different options here. Let me move this around. And you'll see it moves pretty fluid and fast. If we want to zoom out, we can do that with these buttons. Zoom out here. You can zoom way out. Hit done. Go back in to where we're at. And then also, we can search for things using the microphone. We can't use Siri to search through Waze, just like you can't with Google Maps. Let me show you. Find the closest Apple store. The nearest and it gave me an error, but this one's saying the nearest one is South Park. Uh, there's actually another Apple store in the Charlotte area. Let's see if we can take a look at what's the closest according to Waze. Find the closest Apple store. Okay, searching for Apple store. And you'll see those are the different Apple stores. This is the one I would pick based on my current location. And we have a couple others as well. So we'll pick this one. In half a mile, make a U-turn. Now, one thing you'll notice, it looks just like Apple Maps. And that's because Apple locked down the interface to allow ways to use their maps and their voice in the background, but not the turn or the destination time. So we can tap on this and get some more information like this here. We've got different options. And then we can use the volume adjuster for sound settings, sound on, alerts only, and sound off. And then if we go over here, we've got all of our normal ways reports. So we've got hazard, traffic, accident, police. So maybe you have something on the road and then you can pick all of the same things you normally could in ways. And I'll show you that while we're driving as well. Now, one thing to note is if you have your stereo hooked up to your lights, when the lights turn on, the display will dim into a darker mode, but it doesn't go to a, a nighttime mode that I've seen yet, uh, like it does on the application and like Google Maps. So it will turn on, but I haven't seen it flip. Maybe it does on some others. Now, the other thing we have here is we can get back to our main location. We can find other destinations and it's pretty simple and straightforward. It brings you where you need to go using the voice that you have selected in the app. Now, of course you can go back and go quickly back here. No problems there. And I wanna show you driving. Now I've actually already gone to the Apple store and come back towards where I am now. Uh, I'm a ways away from home, but I wanted to show you what it looks like while I'm driving. And that footage is a little bit shaky, so you'll have to forgive that. It's a little bit bumpy on the way here. And just see what it looks like with all the different, maybe accidents or things that are on the road and how you can respond to it on ways. Hazard reported ahead. In a quarter of a mile, exit right. Now the other thing, of course, you can search. We go here, we've got a keyboard option and it searches as we type. So maybe we wanna type Apple. You'll see here, we've got some different results that show up, although it's just easier to hit search so you can see the full thing and it will search and find what you want. So same thing, we've already got this set up to go there. And then of course- In half a mile, make a U-turn. Of course, other than that, we can just hit stop and we have our favorites as well to whatever we've set. And that's really all there is two ways. It's just like you'd expect, only with a little bit of Apple Maps integrated. It does not have lane assistance that I've seen like Google Maps or Apple Maps does, although it does have the speed limit. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Which one will you use? Google Maps? Waze or Apple Maps. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.